Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 1st to the 15th, 2021 money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's let the bowl sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Leo, November 1st to the 15th, 2021 Leo, Money and Career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. At the bottom is our rooted self. The left hand side is our inner self. The middle, our heart, our emotional self. The right hand side, the public arena, the public self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the Empress and we have the Emperor. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, Leo, that is spectacular. I'm so excited. Okay, so whenever we have the King and the Queen or the Emperor and the Empress, which is the ultimate King and Queen from the same deck in a reading, that's a true love connection, you know, soulmate connection, you know, same deck, same, um, same suit. So this is the Major Arcana you know, suit, I guess we can call it that. So we have this powerful, powerful, powerful connection coming forward. This is a true love connection. This is a, you know, kind of start your own business connection. This is a, you know, see yourself going places, moving forward type of connection. This is also embracing our own power, our own authority within ourselves, our own, you know, spontaneity, determination, you know, insight. It's, it's opening up the doors in such a spectacular way. And that's at our root. Then we have the Hierophant in our inner self, the Two of Cups, and the the queen of wands so we have ourselves coming through as a queen the hierophant here is this beautiful sense of okay I'll, I'll get into everything in just a moment let's see we have the chariot which is cancer energy so if we're born on the cusp with cancer that's shining through very strongly in our emotional selves just as if just as if we have you know aries within our chart that's coming through very powerfully at our root and the Hierophant Taurus energy is coming through very powerfully in our inner selves. Then we have the Hangman. We're seeing things differently. The Ten of Swords in the public arena and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so the public arena is a lot more intense. And we're going to find it a little bit hard to believe that things are going to work out or things are going to be able to move forward smoothly and powerfully and instinctually during this time. In the public arena, we have a lot of doubts and fears that we've been dealing with coming to a head. And we're also finding a, a balance for our, our work and our play, you know, a balance for our give and our take during this time, which is going to be really big. Now let's look at the energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. 
guide this reading Ooh, and show me clearly so this one which just jumped right out is justice this is libra energy we could very you know bluntly have to be mindful of a libra but what spirit is also very much saying here is that we have to be a little bit mindful of being too fair you know or no it's yeah it can be being too fair like it's being such by the letter of, of things that we can actually wind up coming across a bit cruel okay that can be something to be mindful of but it can also be somebody who's dealing with things and who's being so quote unquote just like being so much the letter of things that they come out being cruel and there's going to be a sense here of, of knowing it's justice but also knowing that it's not just so just be just be aware of that during this time and there might not be anything that we can do about this you know it can be just the way things have fallen you know the way things things are going but just be aware of this our chakra energy angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly and this is clarity the third eye is opening up we're seeing things more clearly more openly more honestly than we have been before so clarity is coming in and there there is a sense that we're going to be seeing things again very differently but that's if we connect with our hearts we can absolutely ignore the clarity that is around us if we again are just too caught up in the way we think things are supposed to be or you know the energy of how it's supposed to be and how i want it to be and spirit saying here no you know open up the door because you're going to be seeing things and moving forward in in ways that you hadn't expected now the empress comes in this is claiming a voice we we never thought we lost you know but that we had we didn't know it was silence but it was within us. This is also claiming a throne, claiming a passion, claiming a space for ourselves. It comes in with the emperor. It comes in with this sense of, I get to lead the way. I'm going after what I desire. There's nothing and there's no one that's stopping me. The warrior king mentality very much comes forward at our root. We can find ourselves being a little bit aggressive during this time because the fire sign energy here is so strong with us with us coming through as a fire sign energy, of course, but also with us rooted with this Aries energy. And then the Queen of Wands coming through, knowing how to harness this passion, this determination, this general energy, this warrior king energy, the god of war energy coming forward within us. There's going to be a temperance of it. There's something that we want to create. And it's almost like we're creating it, right? And then this is the incubator kind of heat that's helping it grow, the passion that's moving it forward. So we're going to need to be aware of that need to be opened and honest with that during this time there's something that we're creating there's something that we're giving birth to now it can be literally giving birth but there's also this creative element to us during this time and we have this idea we have this sense of needing to get it done you know moving after something coming forward and the passion is guiding us the passion is guiding us in a really real way we have to be true to ourselves this is going to be a time also where we find ourselves being more traditional than we're not so that's that's actually going to be something very nice we're going to have these traditions to fall back on the sense of this is what i need to do for me you know this is what's right for me it doesn't mean that it has to be orthodoxy or it has to be anybody else's traditions they just have to be traditions that make us feel safe and secure within ourselves the the Hierophant is also very much saying we're embracing our voice, we're embracing what we want within our life, the way that we want to move forward, what we're looking for in a kind of bigger picture sense of sense of things. But we're also going to find that we're we're very powerful during this time. This is a time where power is a part of us. This is a time where we start to hone and utilize our energy, our determination and our focus in a way that will take us by surprise. It will definitely take the public world by surprise. The two of cups, embracing what we love, embracing our love, our passion, our desire, our hopes, our dreams, our wishes, letting our heart move us forward in the sense of, of connection. There's unity here, you know, and we have with the Hierophant, this is the major arcana kind of marriage card. We're going to find that we're very committed to something. It doesn't have to be someone. It can be something. It can be our job. It can be, you know, a project that we have on the side. It's going to be that we're putting a lot of effort and energy and as we have this unity as we have this coming together of the sacred masculine masculine and the sacred feminine like we do here at our root we're going to find that we're looking at things differently we're embracing different elements different insights and it's like oh i need some more of this and you know less of that and then more of that and then less of this and we're going to see that it's you know kind of this big stew kind of coming together this beautiful sauce being made that's that's starting to taste delicious whereas before it was it was missing something and missing something and we're seeing those missing elements come forward it has to be 
during this time though that as these missing elements come forward we're seeing ourselves more we're embracing and honoring ourselves more with open openness and honesty and you know desire for where we want to be in our lives and for who we are because if we're denying a part of ourselves during this time we're going to find that we're we're not going to be able to to walk forward the way that we want to the way that we need to emotionally the queen of wands is our passion it's our creativity it's our insight it's our ideas it's ourselves and we're going to see here that we are embracing things work-wise we're looking at things with the sense of okay you know not this way but that way you know we're, we're breaking free of old doubts old fears old negativities that were holding us back. And as we're breaking free of this, we're stepping into ourselves. We're stepping into what we need, what we want, you know, where it is that we need to be, what it is that we desire for ourselves. We're opening up that door in a very real way, in an honest way, in a, you know, determined way for ourselves. There's also going to be the sense here that a new dawn is coming, a new, you know, kind of light forward, a new passion, a new insight is, is coming to us, with us, and it moves us to the chariot. It moves us to harnessing our emotions. There's also going to be a sense here inwardly. We're going to be very career focused. We're going to be very career focused, almost to the point where we think that if it doesn't come down to money and facts, it's almost going to be irrelevant. And Spirit's saying here, really don't do that to yourself because you're going to miss some really great opportunities that are coming your way, Leo if it's only money and facts, because there are going to be some things that open up and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm just passionate about this, or, you know, it sounds like a great idea. Why not learn more about it? That really can start to lead you in a direction that you really want to be in, but it's not going to maybe be as factual as you would have liked it to be. It's going to be maybe a little bit more whimsical, or it's going to be, you know, something that takes your attention from one thing and, and puts it on another, but there's going to be doors that are opened because of that. The the chariot comes in and we're seeing our ourselves you know rein in our emotions really look at what we love what we want where it is that we want to be and we're having the subconscious and the conscious kind of come together not kind of very much come together and we're going to see ourselves embracing this clarity of thought and insight idea you know understanding and it's going to lead us to this place where we start to see things differently than we have before and we're going to think oh well that's wrong you know again we're going to want to go back to our spreadsheet sheets and you know what makes sense logically to be able to move forward in in this pattern and in this you know in this bigger picture sort of thing and the fact that we're seeing things differently and the fact that our emotions are also leading us now we have to make sure that we have a rain rain on our emotions because if we don't we can also find that our tempers kind of get the best of us we can kind of be like a wildfire almost where we just like rage against everything and then step back and it's like oh that was a bit too intense so do be mindful with that with the with the having the different opinions come forward, you know, with the seeing things differently, that's going to be really, really great. It is going to be something where it's like, oh, but I never thought of that and I never looked at that and I didn't see it like that. And now, okay, this door opens and that door opens and, and I'm moving forward this way and I'm moving forward that way. And it's all because we're, we're stopping limiting ourselves. We're stopping saying, you know, it has to be just like this or it has to be just like that. And then the Ten of Swords comes in, in the public arena. And this is completion. And it definitely is completion of a time that laid us flat out in a time that, had us doubting ourselves and fearing ourselves and thinking that we couldn't and also a time where we learned a lot of lessons and it almost feels like for 10 years you know we were stabbed with a different sword a different lesson was learned a different insight was had and so we went deeper and deeper and deeper into ourselves and now we're resurrecting you know again the darkness before the dawn we're rising into our power and we're taking those swords that once tried to destroy us and now we're seeing that our passion is driven by it. It's driven by these ideas. It's driven by these insights. It's driven by, you know, this sense of wonderment and opening up and, and seeing things quite differently than we have before, which brings us to the Six of Pentacles, which here it says it is a gift. And it is. There's a gift of wealth coming forward. There's a gift of insight and ideas and, you know, kind of this give and take. But there's also this very great sense here of I need this balance I need this harmony I need things to to move forward equally and as things are moving forward equally I get to move forward in me in what I want and what I need and there's also this sense of of being honored for what we're doing you know so being paid for what we're doing not being taken advantage of this is going to be a time where if we are being taken advantage of we call it out well okay we might not call it out because we might need the job right but we start looking for other jobs or we start looking at different things and we start finding balance we start looking at you know 
the the justice that we can have for ourselves but the discernment that we need the kind of boundaries that we need to to build up the fact that we need to learn how to say no to certain things or say yes to certain opportunities that are coming our way and we're going to need to listen to our gut with it and talk it over with people who are are valuable and and you know a lovely part of us but in work we're, we're going to need that that give and take because we're going to find more and more things piling up on our desk more people asking us to you know okay oh, can't you do this and can't you do that or could you just help me out here and we're going to be just so logically driven when it comes to work with the sense of if I do more they'll see more but people are going to think not see it that way they're not going to think oh my gosh you're handling everything okay that's fantastic there's almost going to be a, se a sense of well it's going to be expected of you so having these boundaries is going to be a really great thing our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the princess of wands. Now, this can be somebody at work acting like a princess. This can also be the warning not to act like a princess ourselves, which is never nice to hear, but is something that spirit is saying. But it's to be passionate. It's to be determined. And there's also the sense of a person who has very distinct ideas for the way they want their career to go, for what they want in their life. And what we're going to find is that we can't be caught up in their drama we can't be we we shouldn't be caught up in what they want we should also be looking at what we ourselves want and then our subconscious chakra energy is self-mastery this is the solar plexus chakra this is connecting with our gut connecting with what we want from our world you know really looking at ourselves and saying i am falling in alignment with me i'm setting up these boundaries i'm knowing what i want i'm knowing what i don't want there's also going to be a need to discuss things with this beautiful give and take not the sense of i've already come to my conclusion which is kind of the energy we're either going to be bringing to certain things or other people are going to be coming forward with and we're going to get defensive with so just being open and mindful that's going to be really important it moves us to our subconscious rooted self and that's the magician as above so below as you believe it so it becomes so we're really going to have to look at our mind here what is it that we want what is it that we believe where is it that we want to be what is it that we desire and just letting that energy be open letting ourselves be opened with it that becomes a game changer standing before our elemental self looking at our our fundamental gifts and and being able to call them forward being able to ground ourselves being able to fill ourselves with passion being able to embrace the the emotions that come with that passion and being able to you know fill our breath and and speak truth and speak our prosperity that's that's going to be the game changer here we have this very masculine energy around us we just do it, it, it comes through quite powerfully here we have beautiful feminine energy around us too but there's going to be this real sense of getting it done moving it forward charging after it and and connecting later so we have to kind of have both come into play but utilizing the masculine energy is going to be really important for us this is going to be a time to really focus our power and know what it is that we want and, and set ourselves towards our goals our subconscious in ourself is is the sun this is the happiest card in the whole entire deck it's letting us shine and it's not letting us you know think that what we want is wrong or our passions aren't supposed to be it's letting us shine it's letting us move forward it's letting us go after what we desire what we want and what we need within our world and it's not letting anybody take that beauty away from us it moves us to our subconscious emotional self and that's the nine of cups sweetness prosperity bounty coming in it's looking at our our passion what we want it's letting richness like honey melt on our tongue it's it's letting in the beautiful things but this can be very hard for us to see and very easy for other people to see. So do be mindful of it. Even with the sun, we're going to have other people see this beauty around us and kind of want to take us by eyes or think, oh, okay, you have everything set up. You don't need praise or you don't need me to say anything. And that's going to be the opposite of what we need. Like we do need praise. We do need people to say, oh, good job, because we're not really going to see it as well as they are, you know? And then it moves us to our subconscious public arena self. And that's justice coming through. So it's something to be mindful of, yes, but in the public arena, things being balanced, things, things being just is important. And the Six of Pentacles is the Minor Arcana Justice card. It's that sense of, I need this balance. I need this justice. I need these these gifts to come forward of openness and honesty and insight and, and passion and power that lead me to the place that I need to be, that open up the doors that I've been waiting to, to walk through. So justice comes in and it, 
again, becomes that game changer. It becomes that passion, that, that fire that moves us. All right. Yeah. And things become just in the public arena, but subconsciously we're looking, we're looking at a lot of healing. We're looking at a sense of a lot of the missteps that have happened. Well, those are becoming more even out over time. It doesn't mean that everything's going to go away and it doesn't or go our way or go away. And it also doesn't mean that, you know, we don't have to work towards it. Like it's just going to magically work itself out. What it does mean is that we start setting up these boundaries, which are really important. We start balancing our energy and seeing what it is that we want and looking at what, what's fair and what isn't fair and then utilizing our voice. And that's going to be a really powerful thing for us. All right. All right, Leo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power that is coming our way. Let's take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo.